Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to day 99 of the Coronavirus Mindfulness Challenge. How are you today? Well, who would have thought we would have got here on June the 26th when we started sometime in mid-March, talking about how our lives would potentially change, how things would have an impact going forward, there's a hope still today that everything that's taken place will help us to cultivate more empathy, more compassion, more love, more equality. And through this period, we've had sort of checkpoints and other things that have happened that have sort of changed the narrative, the energy, the world that we live in. But what we're looking for through our constant mindfulness challenge is to keep the word equanimity. And in the first 14 days of this challenge, I talk a lot about in depth about the, the foundations, the core practices, the structures, the, the mindfulness as a whole and what truly underpins that. Well, we have one more day to go. And that day I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to do something that's a little bit special. I'm hoping, but we'll have to wait and see because I think I have to see whether I can travel to this place where I need to go to, but I'm gonna give it a go. But what I want us to do here now for a few moments is just to reflect on the past 99 days and just think about you know what's been the highs what's been the lows what's been the challenges what's been the parts that you know have really resonated with you what are the parts that that you know you've had to think about in a bit more depth 99 days in I can tell you what it's done for me it's really fine-tuned and honed a practice that I knew was important, but now I know I love. And that practice is going to be every morning, doing my mindfulness, getting myself into that position, but also remembering that I can use this wonderful, powerful tool to have equanimity. That when I feel an emotion rising, I can deal with it. When I feel a situation brewing, I can deal with it. And you see, what I don't want to happen, and it's the word I use a lot, which is that word balance. I don't want us always thinking about the inner work we have to do with ourselves, because it becomes a consuming entity in itself. What I'd like us to think about is how we can sharpen these tools that we have and that how they can play such a, a an important role in our everyday life to allow us to have healthy boundaries, to allow us to conquer self-doubt, to allow us to not get caught up in, in our thoughts, to allow us to be able to work with our emotions and not be affected or thrown off balance by somebody else's to be able to conquer us, to be able to manifest a positive future, to be able to build things that are step by step and give ourselves credit for everything that goes before us and be able to note and journal the good things we have, the things we appreciate and even the things that have gone wrong, what the positive aspects of that in. There's so much, there's so much we can take out of the subject of mindfulness to be able to create this track of spirituality that just outpours so many opportunities for us to live a happy balanced spiritual life with clarity and purpose and I want us to think back and reflection is okay as long as we don't become addicted to it as if it doesn't become a preoccupation So think back over the past 99 days. Think where your life started in the end of middle end of March. 
and where it is going into July. We're slowly coming out of lockdown here in Wales. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit slower than England. And I'm grateful and thankful for all of the positive comments and love and outpouring that I've had doing this 99 day challenge and I'm very grateful for it. And you would have known that through this period that you will see the videos, my life, you know, had its ups and downs and 2020 has been what I said would be the year of you and the year of me about us getting ourselves ready for 2021. Little did I know in January of this year what I would be saying and little did I know I was going to lose so many good friends to accidents and suicide and and a number of things. Little was I to know that through this period I would be in chronic pain with a right knee that I want to chop off. But all of it comes together because it gives me the ability to speak to you on a level and be humble with you and be honest with you that we really need to start our own journey from within. And that journey is a self journey and not worrying about exterior issues and problems and emotions and entangling ourselves up into all of these different pieces. Let's get ourselves into a position of foundation and a position of growth and a position of transition. Position of transition. And today, day 99, we can reflect on the past. But also I want you to reflect on having a positive future. Taking forward all of the things that we have learnt, that we've experienced, that we've gained wisdom from. Because, you know, I talk to you, you might take some of that information, and to you and that information at that point is theory. But when a situation arises or an emotion or you're having that kind of day, you then take that practice and you turn it from theory and knowledge into wisdom because you take the information I give you, you turn that into knowledge by absorbing it and then when you practice it, you take that knowledge and turn it into wisdom. And that wisdom is gained through experience. That's why the most wise people in the world are the ones that had the biggest and best experiences. So I want you to, today, just take a breath and appreciate and pat yourself on the back for the 99 days that have gone before it. But take down and think about the things that now you can use in your everyday life to live a balanced life with clarity and purpose. And just have a moment now just to reflect on some of those things. Somebody wrote and asked me the question, you're coming to the end of the 100 days, please don't stop. Well, I will be, I made my commitment and I'm going to stay with it. But what was there any stage to this, an epiphany of, you know, whilst doing this? And I suppose for me, the epiphany for me was having all of that knowledge and understanding of mindfulness in here but actually regurgitating it to the wider audience on a daily basis really has compounded the importance of equanimity, the importance of self-love, the importance of gratitude, the importance of compassion, the importance of empathy, the importance of love, the importance of all the words I keep using. But they're words. What we want is deeds. Deeds are so much more important than words. So practice with yourself. 
practice and help others. So if there's one moment that has given me an epiphany is that my own self-realization of what this tool and what this opportunity is through mindfulness is now today more vital and important than it was 99 days ago. And I thank you all for that. We are going to do a meditation and it's going to be about reflecting on a positive future. And I want us to think about deepening our self-love and inquiry, but asking meaningful questions of ourselves and visualizing a very positive future. Tomorrow, if I can do it, I'm hopefully going to go somewhere special and film and we're just going to sit in the amazing energies that will surround us. And I think it's very apt on the last day just to be mindful. That's why I'm doing a lot of talking today because today is the reflection. Tomorrow is the day we just put it all into practice. So I'm going to bring a, bit, uh, a picture up. And I want us to just begin by taking a moment to allow our bodies to settle. And just find a comfortable position. Again, as always, that allows your spine to be long, but with a natural curve in the lower back. And just close your eyes and just let the belly and shoulders relax. Just feel yourself breathing through your belly and just let your shoulders drop. And today I'm going to guide you through a practice to envisage a positive future. And it's a chance to connect with that place inside us that wants to work toward a life of meaning and fulfillment. This is a useful way to consider how we care for ourselves and how we care for others. And importantly, how to show up at our best, our best, nobody else's, to meet life's challenges. And before we start, I'd like to take a full deep breath in. And then take a long breath out until every single breath in your body is left. And then when you come back, I just want you to allow the breath to find its own natural rhythm. In and out. Allowing yourself to be fully present and just resting on that breath, breathing in and breathing out. And I'm gonna ask you a few questions in this meditation, just to prompt ideas and responses that can help to find that positive future. And throughout this practice, just let your body and mind feel loose, feel open. And repeat the questions that I offer silently and to yourself. But importantly, resist the urge to problem solve. And see if anything comes up on its own organically. And if nothing comes to mind, you can always continue just to rest your attention on the breath. Relax until something does come up. And now we feel really calm and relaxed and we've definitely checked in with ourselves and we feel this calm and we know that we're in a really beautiful and creative space. And this space will allow us to cultivate and answer questions that will allow us to learn, allow us to transform and allow us to grow. So any of these questions now that you answer will be done from a point of equanimity. And ask yourself this first question. What kind of future do I feel deeply moved towards? What kind of future do I feel deeply moved towards? And just notice the thoughts and feelings and images that come to mind. 
Meanwhile, remembering to breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. What kind of a future do I feel deeply moved towards? And as you hold this positive thought, this future in your mind, what feelings are present? And there are a few more questions to help you explore the future you feel deeply moved towards. How can I show up in a way that will allow this positive future to unfold? How can I show up in a way that will allow this positive future to unfold? How can I fully show up for the opportunities that I encounter? How can I show up fully for the opportunities that I encounter? Who do I want to be in relation to others? Who do I want to be in relation to others? What might get in the way and how will I move beyond it? What might get in the way and how will I move beyond it? Just consider to yourself, what are the skills or capabilities that I'll need to get there? What are the skills or capabilities that I'll need to get there? And how might practice support this future? How might practice support this future? And I want you now to see yourself. I want you to see yourself right now, somewhere in this positive future. Really see yourself where you want to get to and be vivid in your visualization but reflect on the things that you've done that have enabled you to get there and just see yourself doing some of these things that have allowed you to get to where you want to get to maybe it's spending time with the family maybe it's engaging in a daily practice that supports clarity and focus. Maybe it's putting your energy into learning new skills. Or maybe it's how you allow yourself to connect with others. And see those things in your mind's eye and notice what it feels like as you imagine doing them. And remember you can come back to this meditation at any time to rediscover connection to that place that's inside, that's ready to create this positive and abundant future. We all have the ability to improve our lives and the lives of those around us. And take this feeling you have had within this meditation and bring it back to your day to day. 
but can you allow it to guide how you interact with your world now? Can you take all of these positive thoughts, affirmations and visions and bring them into your daily life? Finding ways to manifest this beautiful, positive future so that every day we work slowly, we work carefully and we work diligently to bring this beautiful future to life. And we know that there will be times where we don't go as forward as fast as we'd like. But take solace in the feeling of movement. Take solace in the beauty that you are every day getting out of bed and working no matter how big or how small on a future that is going to be so positive for you and positive for others that's going to truly allow you to live a happy, balanced, spiritual life with clarity and purpose. And let's just finish this very positive future practice now by taking in a full breath and a long breath out. And when you're ready, come back into the room Wiggle your fingers and open your eyes. So, there was day 99. A bit of reflection, but importantly, a meditation that's going to allow us to take everything that we've learned during these 99 days, wrap it up into a beautiful ball of self-love, digest it, and take that forward into a future that is bright, that is loving, that is comparing, but a future that has you at your best self through self-practice, through self-love, through self-compassion, through self-care, getting you into your best self to allow you to shine as bright as you can in the world that is around you. Being an empath, we can be too far the other way. We give too much, we do too much, we do all of these things and then we wonder why we get tired or we get frustrated or we get down or we get anxious. Spend a bit of time on yourself. Ensure that you are today, tomorrow and the next day working towards your bright future. But in the meantime, have some fun, enjoy the summer, reflect in the winter, and be your best self. If there's anything I can take out of these 99 days, as I was requested, was the importance of showing up every single day. And I've showed up for 99 days. Through some tough times, through some good times, through some indifferent times. But I've made that level of commitment to you and importantly to myself to turn up on 99 days. God bless you, Julian, I love you. Don't forget that. And I'll see you tomorrow for what may be an emotional day, but will certainly be a day, hopefully, that we can truly enjoy, reflect, and move forward on. You have a bright future, but that future is within and we need to unlock it. Be love and give love, and I'll see you soon. Well, in fact, tomorrow for our 100th day of mindfulness meditation. God bless. See you soon. Bye bye.